Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Pilot. Uh, this is a well-known pen. It is a pen I've had in my collection, well, this model, for quite a while. Uh, and I recently picked up this, which is the teal version. It is the Pilot Custom 74. This is a fairly sort of standard uh, fountain pen with a 14 karat gold nib from Pilot, the Japanese brand. So I'm going to cover the parts and features, and then I'm going to do a writing sample and talk about some pros and cons. So, starting at the top of the pen, we this, as I said, this is the teal or the turquoise. We have a uh, sort of a smoky grey coloured uh, finial there. The cap is on a ring underneath that, and the, the clip is, so the clip is on, it's fairly stiff, but because of that nice big ball on the end there, it is very usable. The cap swells ever so slightly to this band, uh, which reads, uh, you know, custom 74 Pilot Japan, made in Japan. And uh, then you get like a little bit of a, a plastic after the ring there. The cap screws off in one and three quarter turns. Uh, the barrel of the pen continues along. It's quite a decent length barrel and then sort of tapers to this another ring and then a another smoky plastic uh, end cap there. As I said, the cap screws off in one and about three quarter turns and leaves you with a fairly nice section. Very smooth threads, small step down, a little me metal ring there. Uh, and the section tapers ever so slightly and then sort of flares just at the end. It's got a fairly small gold nib. It's their proprietary size nib. Um, and it's probably about, it's about the size of a number five standard nib. Um, the body unscrews there. And uh, it is a cartridge converter pen, but it is the propri proprietary pilot cartridge converter. Now, the pen is sold with a cartridge and with this, the Con 70 converter. Not my favorite converter, but uh, it does have a good ink capacity and people love it. So metal threads in there also means that you can't eyedropper this pen. It's got different, you know, different uh, sections there with metal and things. So it is cartridge or converter. The nib is gold, it's 14 karat gold nib, and uh, it's a nice nib. It's small, but it's very nice with a nice plastic feed. It's rhodium plated, and um, these nibs are really, really wonderful. And something I've loved on my other version of this pen, which is the clear version, which has a medium nib. This one has a fine, uh, and I think it is a beautiful nib to write with. It's got a lovely reactive feel on the page, and it's kind of a little bit underrated in my opinion. Now, the pen comes in a number of different colours, and they release new colours occasionally, and this was one of the ones that was released, I think, in 2020-ish, I think. Um, the turquoise or the teal, depending on which, you know, which seller you look at. Um, and there's a number of these clear plastic versions, or uh, translucent plastic, or sort of full colour, depending on where you are in the world and where you are buying from. The pen retails in the US for about 160 US dollars. Now you can get it cheaper on, you know, that sort of gray market through, you know, Japan on places like eBay and things like that. Uh, and in Australia, it ranges anywhere from 230 to 300 Australian dollars. So the markup is considerable, uh, and it, but it is a gold nib pen and Pilot is a brand that makes high quality, like super high quality uh, writing instruments. Size comparison here with the Alami Safari. You see it's about the same length. If anything, it is slightly longer, just a couple of millimeters. Uh, but it is a good length pen and uh, it's got good girth, a good size, and you definitely feel that in the hand. Uncapped, it's a little shorter than the Alami Safari. And you can see there that the nib is not hugely dissimilar in length. Uh, so it does feel a little smaller in the hand, but I think it is still big enough for most people to write with uncapped. Posted, it makes a pretty good length and it posts relatively uh, well. Uh, nice and deep and quite secure, it's not going to come off, um, and it makes a fairly decent length pen, as you can see they're pretty comparable really in size to the Lamy Safari. The dimensions of the Pilot Custom 74 are 143 millimeters when it is capped, it's 125 when it's uncapped, and as I said, for most people I think that's going to be a fairly sort of reasonable length pen, certainly uh, usable uh, in most uh, people's hands uh, and a fairly nice sort of weight as well. Um, cat posted, it's 155, so a pretty sort of nice length, a little bit back weighted in my opinion, uh, with the pen, whole pen weighing 22 grams, eight of that being in the cap and 14 in the body, that extra length and some of that metal and stuff and liner, there's like liner 
in the cap, which helps seal it. A lot of that weight you do feel on the back of your hand, but I don't think it's so back weighted that you couldn't use it like this. Um, it just, for me, just it feels a little bit off. Time for a writing sample now, and we have the Pilot Custom 74. As I said, as normal, this is the uh, uh, Clefontaine 90 gram paper. The nib here is a 14 karat uh, gold. This is a fine. And uh, you can get this pen regularly in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. As I said, my other one is a medium, which I love, uh, and I got a fine uh, for this particular color. The ink I'm using here today is Robert Oster Bondi Blue, which is a little more blue than the pen. I think the pen has a definitely has like a greeny sort of blue to it. It's not that vibe, vibe, bright, vibrant blue like the blue version of this pen. Let's see it writing. You can hear a hint of feedback on this nib, but it is smooth. A lot of Japanese pens do have a bit of feedback on them. It is able to keep up nicely. It has a really good flow. I actually think it's quite, for a fine, and particularly for a Japanese fine, it is uh, Quite wet. I don't think this is a super fine Japanese fine. I think it's, you know, it is just a, a fine. Um, in terms of uh, reverse writing, firstly, it is somewhat possible. Not super nice, but somewhat possible. Now, flex. D please don't make this write this like a flex pen. Yes, you can get a little bit of line variation, and that is proper line variation. If you look at the nib closely, you can see the tines are opening up ever so slightly. Something a little bit more ink down, um, like making it quite wet. Uh, but there is a slightly springy nature uh, to this gold nib. But please, it is not soft. It is not a flex nib. You just feel a slight bounce or suspension uh, on the page when you're writing with it. But generally speaking, a smooth writer that writes consistently and reliably with a nice sort of, cons you know, generous line uh, and handles all the, the general bits and pieces that uh, is required of a pen, particularly at this price point. Let's talk pros and cons now for the Pilot Custom 74. Probably for me, there's a couple of little cons. Um, the first is that this pen model, and this is the same across the other one I had as well, gets more ink in the cap than almost any other pen that I have in my collection, and I don't know why. I don't treat it any more roughly than any other pen, but there's something that, something in the feed, um, like if you look at how deep set those um, fins are, it's holding, a, there's a holding a lot of ink sort of around in there. And I think uh, sometimes a little bit of that just gets away from itself perhaps. Uh, so just something to be aware of, particularly when it is these sort of um, translucent, you know, pens you do sort of see the ink in there the other issue i have with this pen um and this is personal of course is the fact that it comes with a con 70 converter now um i think the ink capacity of this which is about i think 1.2 uh, ish mils from memory uh is you know the ink capacity is great but there's something about this converter i don't love i don't love the mechanism of it i don't love, i hate cleaning it um you push this button down and it sort of creates like a little back suction in the you know in the cart in the converter barrel and pulls ink up into it and while it works perfectly fine it's just a bit of a pain to clean i do prefer um like a twist converter uh the con 4050 you know those ones um but they don't have the ink capacity that the 70 has so if you're wanting capacity 70 is the way to go i just wish that they could create a twist converter that stands up um you know, the, uh, the number of the Japanese pens from Platinum, Pilot, and uh, um, Sailor all have pretty shoddy converters. When you think of something like the Schmidt K5 converter, which fits the standard international pens, something like that would just make this pen absolutely incredible. But there are lots of um, pros to this pen. Firstly, I'm just going to say it's a Pilot, and that comes with it an assurance of quality. Um, you know, and there's also, if you buy it through a reputable seller, things like warranties and things like that. 
Um, it is a reliable pen. It's beautiful to write with. It's consistent. Um, it's solid. The build is good. Like, it's nice. It's a nice pen, even though it's made of plastic. It's a nice pen. Um, I like the size. I think that the section at uh, 9 to 10 millimeters through there, it's a nice size in the hand. The weight is good. It feels good to write with. But if you're talking about this pen, the biggest selling point for me is that nib. That gold nib, rhodium plated, but 14 karat gold nib. This is the fine, that slight little bounce to it, that slight softness, that ever so slight like just elegance on the page is just really, really lovely. Um, it's smooth, it's generous. As you saw in the writing sample, it's a lovely, lovely nib. So this was the Pilot Custom 74 in the turquoise or the dark teal, depending on where you get it. Um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. By the way, I should say this is a sticker. It can come off. I just kept it on here uh, through the review. Um, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button. Uh, contact me on Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, or on my email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.